Well, some at home students had to find workarounds to access their online classes today. The school district worked out the kinks on other issues. NBC 15's Jaisha Patel tells us bus rides through areas affected by Hurricane Sally went smoothly. Today's school buses were lined up and ready to roll out for the first day back after Hurricane Sally. Test drives started yesterday to ensure buses could clearly drive on roads without debris or obstacles. They drove their entire route, but while they were out on the routes, their furthest locations, they were doing radio calls back to our stations, our base stations. We have one in Somerdale, we have one in Bay Manette. That way we make sure all radio signals are working clear and clean so if something does happen, they get a hold of us as quick as possible as well. Tony Pollard is the Baldwin County Public Schools Transportation Coordinator. He says there were only three designated places that had to be set up this morning because buses couldn't reach their scheduled stop. We have a couple designated pickup spots that have been identified in Alberta. I think there's one in Foley and then we have one in Spanish Fort. It really, out of the 17,000 students we transport, this only affects like 15 kids. Debris was only one concern left over from Sally, power was the other. Because of outages, food supply spoiled. In a statement to NBC 15 News, a spokesperson for Baldwin County Schools said they were able to fully stock all schools with food in time for students' return today. The statement also said, We did have several schools who lost just about everything in their food supply, so we had to work with vendors to get fresh shipments in. Because of the preparation, students were able to get breakfast this morning and were able to ride the bus. On whole, our messaging has gone out. The drivers have done a phenomenal job monitoring their routes, keeping their eye on the roads, and I can I am so proud of our entire staff. Jaysha Patel, NBC 15 News. The transportation coordinator said as of this morning, there were only two out of three designated places left for bus riders who could not reach their bus stops.